What's up my makeup lovers? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far. I woke up super early. I couldn't wait to film this first impressions of everything that I bought from Ulta. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it right up here for you guys because I got a lot of good, a lot of good items. So of course I will be creating a full face for you guys trying all these goodies. I'm gonna include some things that I didn't get, obviously, to complete the full face. But if you are new here, welcome. I hope you stick around and grab your makeup. And let's, like I said, let's play together. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's just get into this first impression. All right, guys, so of course, we're gonna start off with our eyebrow. Today, surprisingly, I will not be doing a dip brow. So, no dip brow, no pomade. We're gonna use a pencil, of course, but. So I will be trying this baby out for the first time. This is a NYX um, Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I got this in the shade black. This right here, I heard so many good things about it. I'm also gonna use the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil just to outline the bottom of my eyebrow just to give it a better kind of shape. So what I do is I go from end of my um, eyebrow to the beginning, of course. Looks like a crazy caterpillar, right? The reason I like a dip brow is because I could create a, the shape that I want for my brow. Like, this is my good brow. This is the one that has a shape. This is the one that behaves. All right, so I'm just brushing everything upwards. I hope you guys can see it. I'm sorry. Brow glue is on, right? So now I like going back with a spoolie. So I'm going to take the one from the NYX pencil, and I like really kind of pushing my brows. And like I said, I kind of do it my way. And then I just like brushing everything like that. Ooh, actually that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna take the Lift and Snatch pen, right? So you see here I have spars, so let's see how this works. Um, let's see. Whoa, bro, this literally looks like freaking hair. Like, what the F? Guys, this is like really, really, really cool. I'm gonna do the next eyebrow really quick and I'll be right back so we can finish because I'm not trying to be on eyebrows forever. And so, brows is done for now. We're gonna clean them up and shape them, but. I feel like this and this is no bueno. I think I have to either set this or wait until this completely dries. Um, I did wait like two or three minutes, um, but I noticed that I had to like, you see my hand? Kind of had to go back and like take the ink out again from the pen. I love the pen though, I love the pen. But this together, probably not. Just this on bare brows, I think will be better. So let me clean them off with some concealer, child, and we'll be right back so we can finally step away and move away from my brows. Be right back. Moving on, so for primer and eyeshadow. I'm really excited because I love trying new eyeshadow primers and this is yet another NYX product. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. This is the packaging right here. So I'm actually gonna take it, I don't know if this is super white, but we'll see, right? So I'm gonna take it right on my lid. Oh no, it's not, okay. Reminds me of the e.l.f. Um, lid lock primer. It feels like the waterproof primer, just not as sticky, because that one is like really sticky. And you have to wait a couple minutes for it to like settle, because if not, you're just gonna, it's not gonna work. But this one kind of feels the same. It does have some good tackiness. So I'm gonna wait a couple minutes um, while we wait for this to settle and dry. Let's talk about this eyeshadow palette. So I have here the Milani Ungilded Most Loved Palette. I think this one is just full of all their favorite matte shades and then just placed it in one and created like a beautiful, beautiful palette. So this is the palette right here and I love, when I tell you I love these tones, I love creating a full matte look. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. Um, I think it's just simple. Oh, look at this. Hallelujah. I'm actually thinking about playing with um, maybe like the browns and this um, really vanilla color here. I kind of want to do like dark to really light. All right, so base is all done. So now let's get into the eyeshadow, of course. 
So I'm not gonna have any line of defined tape because I I'll show you why I don't wanna do it right now. We're gonna use it later though. I kinda wanna start with this shade right here. This is my Daily Latte, which is the shade right here. And I'm gonna take this Morphe fluffy brush and I kinda wanna just place this all over my lid and crease so all the other dark shadows could blend easier. And like I said, I'm not trying to do a crazy eyeshadow. It's really simple. I wanna just take this all over. And I'm not trying to be as precise because like I said, this is just so every other color blends easier. All right, so that looks cute. So now I want to go into, hmm. I want to go, uh, let's go into Toast, what is this? Toast of the Town, which is the shade right here. And again, I'm just going to go in places all over my lid. I'm just going to take another fluffy brush from Morphe. And these are blending like a freaking dream, of course. It's just, this is what Milani does, honey. And I kind of like really want to smoke this out. So this is why I'm like blending. And it's like a little crazy blend, but I really want to smoke it out, smoke it out, smoke it out. Ooh, that's a cute shade. I love that. I'm going to go with Umber the Sun, which is this beautiful shade right here. And again, I'm going to take this. One thing I am going to say that is kickback. I don't know if you care about that. I really don't. I'm just used to Milani. I feel like if this kickback, I know it's going to be pigment. You know what I'm saying? So just, but I want to let you guys know. So I'm going to take again Umber the Sun. And I really want to concentrate that on the outer V right here. And kind of drag it in a bit. Just like that. And I'm not, not blending anything on the inner corner in the part of my eyes because we're gonna go in with a really light bone shade type thing to really brighten the inner. We're gonna, you're gonna see, watch. All right, so with this fluffy brush from Wet n Wild, I wanna go into a deeper shade. Hmm, let's go into Cocoa Bean, which is this beautiful chocolate brown right here. And I'm gonna take this. And I'm not going to put too much um, product just because I don't want to go in and really mess it up. So I'm going to just take just a little bit. And these are really pigmented. And I'm going to concentrate that there. And just in circular motion, just kind of blend that in. I bring it to like, I guess, half of my lid, which is like right there. And blend that in. But stay concentrated on the end like that. And don't worry, we're gonna go over everything with a lighter, lighter shade and really smoke it out. Same thing to the other eye. And like I said, guys, I'm not taking a lot of product. I'm just trying to really focus that. And then, like I said, take it to like a, the half of your lid. I'm gonna take this pack of brush from the Motor Collection and I wanna go into the shade Not So Vanilla, which is this one right here. And I wanna take that and concentrate the color where I want it and then blend. I'm just gonna start patting it and bring it, of course, bring it up. You see that, what it did? So don't worry, it might look crazy, but like I said, we're gonna blend everything. We are, so the fact that, okay, so now you see, I put it down. So I'm gonna take this crease brush from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna, when I tell you lightly blend everything, like lightly, cause I don't wanna lose that color. Do you see that? How it just brightens up the eye. Oh my God, yes, honey, yes, 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 yes. yes. And then you could keep going back and put more if you want. All right guys, so boom, that's really, really it. As you can tell, Milani don't play no games. This, so this is the type of look that I love creating for like an everyday type of look. This is my vibe. This looks so good, so blown out. I freaking love how this looks. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little twist on this and I hope I don't mess it up, but I really wanna do a liquid liner, but not a black liquid liner. I think red with this will look so freaking amazing and I actually have one. So I have the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Liner. This one is in the shade literally red. And when I tell you, this is so red. Like it literally looks like blood. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Look at that. Oh my God, yes. So 
I'm gonna apply some line and the fine tapes to create the wing and I'll be right back. So line and fine tapes are on. So again, we're gonna go in with the Epic liner in red. I never tried these type of liners. I usually go in with a felt tip. We're gonna get real person on it. So because I have hooded eyes, I always, where my hood is right here, this is where I kind of start the wing and connect it. That's just an easier way, so. Take it from here. Boom, see that, just like that. Flick that up, honey. And then we're just gonna obviously drag it down from here. So as you can see, you kind of already see the wing action. So, but I wanna strain this out a little bit more. And then we're gonna fill, holy crap, I put too much. We're gonna fill it in. So that's the wing, I don't know if you can see. All right guys, so I'm gonna do the other wing off camera and then when we get back, we'll move on to the face. All right guys, so uh, this is the eye look. So the liner is not bad, it dries really quick, I'm not gonna lie, it really does, but I like how this turned out. It bleed a little bit here, but that's because my line of the fine tint wasn't really on right here, but I'll clean that up with some concealer, but overall, I think they're pretty, I think this is dope. I mean, it's a neutral, really simple look with a pop of color. That's kind of what I wanted to go with, so I'm in love. Let's move on to mascara. So I actually have two, and I don't know which one to try on. Should I just do one in one eye and one in the other eye? Yeah, let's do that. So I have here the Big Mood Elf um, Volumizing Mascara. And then I also have the Essence Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes really, really quick just to get like the full effect. Because my lashes, like I said, my lashes are like, they grow downward. They go like this, literally. So. All right, so I'm gonna do Elf on my right, your left, and I'm gonna do the Essence on my left, your right. So let's start off with the Elf. Ooh, okay, this is a big one. So this is the wand right here. Look at that. Ooh, okay, so let's go with the Elf and see how this goes. Like I said, I don't have really good lashes. That's why I love, ooh. But this, okay. Okay, this was good. Love how my lashes look. Um, maybe because they're red, you can't really see it, but we'll see. So now we're gonna go in with the Curl and Volume Mascara from Lash Princess, this is the Essence. Let's go in. Okay, the wand is a little bigger than the one from the False Effect Mascara. This is the wand right there. So now let's take this and really see what this does. I'm not the greatest at applying mascara because I'd be scared that I'm gonna um, mess up my eye look. Whoa, okay, not for nothing guys. I kind of see way more of a curl with this baby. Like literally I see my lashes. This was not bad. I think maybe with a, I don't know, maybe with a second coat, let's see. But the fact that that one had just one coat and work, I, I don't know, I'm leaning towards the Lash Princess, but we'll see how it goes with everything else. So now I'm gonna prime the skin. I didn't get in any new primer. Um, I'm actually gonna go in with the e.l.f. Mint Cooling Face Primer. I actually gave the one I had to my mom because she needed a new primer, so I have like backups and backups of this, because it's literally that good. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then we can move on to the face. Okay, so primer has been sitting on the skin for at least 10 minutes. I like waiting um, at least five to 10 minutes so like that everything could just melt into the skin. So before we move into foundation, I actually wanna apply some lashes, I almost forgot. So I actually got these Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink, can you leave me alone? Faux Mink Collection, these are in the style sequin. These are them right here, look at that. Oh. These are like my type of lashes, guys. Like I love pointy. Oh, so yummy. I already cut them to my size.
I think these are really pretty. They're super easy to work with. The band is not super thick, but it's not also super flimsy that you can't work with it. So these are fire. I love this um, collection. The Lash Couture is one of my favorite. They're really, really good. So moving on to the face now. So I went and bought the Morphe Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30. This is what the packaging looks like. I am in the shade Light Glow 3. So the reason why I'm a little scared about using this is because I tried their, what's that foundation called? The Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation and Honey. That literally like this right here was so red, like literally burned the crap out of me. I just decided not, not to purchase any skin on products from Morphe because I was just scared. But I heard really good things about this. My friends at Ulta decided, like, was like, get it, it's really good, I have it, all this good stuff. So we're gonna go with it, okay? So I'm trying a new foundation um, brush out. This is the NYX foundation brush. So I'm gonna pour some in the back of my hand. I'm gonna do, let's do two pumps. Let's do that. So I'm gonna do half of my face first. I'm gonna do my right side, your left. So I'm gonna take, I guess, and just, I guess, I don't know, apply it like I usually do a foundation. I'm gonna take my brush, of course, and I'm just gonna go and start blending this in. I'm just gonna do stipple motions, really. Hmm. Ooh. Is this my shade? <laughs> I'm so excited because I, you know, if you know, you know I never find my shade, ever. So that is just not even half of the pump. I still have a whole bunch over here, but um, I think it gave me a cute little thing. Let's build it up a little bit. Let's do, I'm gonna use the rest of this right here and I'm just gonna do the same thing again. I'm not gonna lie guys, it sits beautifully on the skin, like beautifully. So that is literally the two pumps on my side. Like I said, this is ooh, reality. You see I have a whole bunch of pores. And then this side, I don't know. It's I think it's really, really cute. I think it just kind of made my skin look better if I'm not mistaken. So let me um, do two more pumps on this side and then I'll come back to see how everything goes. I'm gonna zoom in cause I ain't scared. So you see the glow that it gave my skin? And yes, I know I have oily skin, but I'm not scared of a glow. I think this looks so freaking good. Like, and the shade, honey, ciao. I'm on orange face on this channel, <laughs> but yeah, this is really, really cute. Okay, so moving on to concealer. So I kind of want to see if I do a little bit of full coverage concealer, seeing that kind of balance everything out face-wise. So I'm going to go in with the NARS um, Creamy Concealer. I am in the shade Madeline. I'm going to take some, not a lot, because I, like I said, I'm not trying to do like stupid full coverage, of course. Let me set the under eyes really quick before they crack this. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. It's just my baby, I love this powder so much. Oh, I have here the Putty e.l.f. Um, bronzer. This is in the shade um, Bronze Bell. Let me open it for you guys. It looks intimidating in, on the pan, but it's not this dark. As you can see, I already swatched a little bit. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M6 brush that I bought specifically for like cream products. And I'm gonna go in here and really massage this in. I'm gonna take this and hold up. Okay, 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 relax, relax. Wow, I think this is like a really, <laughs> really dark shade for me. And I literally, look, I literally pat off so much. Don't worry, we're gonna blend this out. We're gonna blend this out, we're gonna blend this out. So it's cool, it's cool, it's a-okay. So I'm actually gonna go in with my foundation brush, right? And I'm gonna kinda diffuse. Oh, okay. So it's actually blending in really good, actually. So let me, let me fix this, guys. Let me fix this, hold on. 
hold on because all right guys so it's not bad i mean look how pretty it ended up um being i mean i think i think the shade is a little bit dark for me because even here like as you see all right so i guess a little bit goes a long way but i don't mind it i really don't I don't mind it at all. I love just the glow that my face has. Like, it's crazy. Even when I started with powder, it it, it just looks so freaking good. Mm. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a cream blush. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This was in the shade um, Turks and Caicos, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a nice um, terracotta shade. And then I'm just going to... Oh, look at that. Look at that that honey i actually do like this um brush for this i really do so yes that's a lot i know get over it i'm gonna blend this i'm gonna blend it do you see that come on come on bro like oh uh, there's just something about cream products i'm just in love Ooh. yes i love this this is like my skin but a hundred times better i have this new baby here this is the juvia's bronzed um dual bronzer whatever this is the medium shade this is the shades right here so i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and i'm gonna dip into this lightly because i already have enough um bronzer and ooh, okay bitch i see you oh that actually made it a little bit better oh my god i feel like i literally just got a tan child like literally feel like I got a tan yeah this looks really freaking good so I knew it was gonna be bomb because I do have the blush um palette as well which I'm actually gonna use this is the Juvia's Place bronze um I mean blush rouge palette this is volume two so obviously my favorite terracotta and this beautiful pink I'm gonna go in with the terracotta just to kind of like oh you see that God, when I tell you, I'm obsessed. And I think I went a little ham all over, but relax. I got this. I got this. Listen, I'm just playing with makeup. I'm just playing. This is just playing with makeup. This, uh, I'm in love. So, I know my skin is glowy, but whatever. I'm going to do a little highlighter. So, this is the Artist Couture um, highlighter. This is in the shade Illuminati. And this is like a loose um, highlighter. So, I got to be real, real careful. But... I'm not gonna put too much, I promise. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm gonna take some and just, just so like a little bit, literally just like that, like a little bit. I'm not doing too much and just boom, just like that. Oh yes, yes, yes. So now we're gonna go into lips. So I got the Milani, I think this is the nude collection, the color fetish um, nude collection, the matte one. So I got the shade, I'm sorry, uh, Pleasure. So uh, this is what the shade looks like. Look at that. Ooh, so bomb. So I'm going to line my lips first. Let me just grab a, like a brown something. So I'm going to take the Milani Easy Liner in the shade Most Natural. This is just like my favorite, favorite um, lip product. We're gonna try the matte lipstick again. This is in the shade Pleasure. Oh, look at that! So pretty. Actually, let me swatch it for you guys. I didn't even saw. Oh, oh my God, guys! Look at that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. Oh my God! This smells like. If you know the the silky matte bronzer that's what it um smells like but this shade honey 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 mm, this shade is everything so i kind of want to top it off with a gloss actually so i think i want to go and go into this baby this is the nyx um this is milky gloss i have the shade milky what is it milky pink so let's put this on top i know it's pink. hopefully it's not too pink but <gasps> Oh God, yes. Oh, this literally, this pink one smells like Fruity Pebbles. No lie. So now let's finish off the bottom lashes because this lip is giving me everything. So I kind of want to just do uh, the little dark brown. I think I want to do like cocoa bean 
and maybe smoke it out with salty caramel and then some my daily latte and we'll see and i'm gonna go into cocoa bean then i'm gonna go take salty caramel right here I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go into not so vanilla. So to keep it in the family, I'm gonna grab this Milani Supreme Cold Kajal Eyeliner Crayon, and this is like really black, black, black. See that? Really black. So I'm gonna take this Milani Strobe Light Highlighter in Day Glow, and I just wanna take this and pop it in my inner corner. Like a little pop of something. Ooh, you see that? Yes, honey. Right, so to seal this baby, I'm gonna go into the Professional Super Setter from Benefit. This is the Big Mamas, and I'm just gonna set my entire makeup with this. All right guys, so that is the final look that I created for you guys using all these amazing products. I'm not gonna lie, a good 99% of the products I love and enjoy. I'm happy that I purchased everything because I fell in love with everything. But guys, again, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with your boy. I love, love playing with makeup and I love testing new makeups for you guys. So. Definitely stay tuned because I have so many much more videos coming with new collections and all that good stuff. But again, thank you. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. <laughs>